What's up, man? Good morning. Good morning, guys. Uh, today we are headed to Supercar Sunday, and we're going in a supercar. Oh, it's definitely super. Yeah. Wow. Uh, this is a, although it's a 2012, this is a Fisker Karma, courtesy of the Murphy Auto Museum. And we're, uh, we're cruising at a nice clip. Uh, it is full electric mode right now, which is known as stealth mode. It's good karma. Yeah, it's good karma. We're trying to build up good karma. Uh, and we're doing that by picking up uh, Paul Grisanti, who is going to fit in the back, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to fit back there. It's a little tight. As far as supercars go, there are not many that are that are four doors. No. Barely. Uh, Ken Ken barely got in here. Uh, we have to can open her him out at some point when we get there. My head wouldn't fit. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to get to the show. I'm gonna have just to hang out at the uh, just park in a good car. spot. I'll be fine. Just leave me in here with AC running. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I don't know a lot about this car. Uh, but I will be able to tell you guys uh, towards the end of the blog. I'll do a little research and tell you a little bit more. Uh, but it's pretty sick looking. It's got leaf skeletons in the center column. It's got a center column that goes all the way back, which is where the, the battery is housed. Uh, it's very comfortable. It's pretty quick. The motor is about a 400 horsepower motor when it when it kicks into regular cast powered. But for right now, we're uh, full electric and it's uh, very quiet. I like it. On this Malibu morning. Magically, we have Paul in the back. How did you get back there? Well, it was difficult, but I uh, did the magic, magic Rusani <laughs> move and slid right in here. All right, we are good to go for Supercar Sunday. I gotta go check out some cool cars. Uh, I don't know. I think we're gonna have the coolest car on the show. Obviously. Okay, best car on the show. What's the best car on the show? Oh my gosh, uh, that's hard. They're not really, there's really nothing that stands, stands out.
Supercar Sunday with the likes of Ken. And I don't know what happened to Paul. Where'd Paul go? Where'd Ken go? Oh, oh there he is. Uh, Paul's around. You know, he disappeared. He's talking cars. Uh, we just had a really nice conversation with Jeff Dunham. Uh, he is a big uh, car collector. Uh, 92? 92 cars. Very, very cool, including a Fisker, like the one we're driving, uh, which happens to be right there. Uh, it's a pretty good show. We got some neat things, but best of show. What's what's the, your, the best for you? I'm going to say the sexiest car. The best sexy car. Oh, really? I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at you, but not. it's not you. Yeah, it's this one right here. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's there's definitely just, uh, it's a sexy car. It really is. Side. Yeah, I have uh, the Murphy to thank for that. Look, take a look. Look at how sexy this is. Good morning. I know it's not out here. Car in the show today. My favorite car in the show today is the 53 Starlight Coupe by Studebaker with engine by somebody else. Is that the silver one? It's the silver one. It's a work in progress. Can you see him driving that? I love yeah. the shape. Yeah, the it's, shape it's is very, awesome. um, a very uh, unusual. As Paul is very land speed racer car. Yeah, it, I think the last like you'd have to dress it as if you were going to Bonneville. You got to have the the moon, the full moon caps. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. I know the guy. He, he, competition poop. Yeah. Good. Is that too bright? Whatever, whatever. I don't have time. The Fisker Karma 2012. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with the Fisker, it was designed uh, by uh, my friend Henrik Fisker, who I went to school with, and uh, it's it's a beautiful car. It's a stunning, quite stunning car. Originally, Henrik wanted to do a two-door coupe, uh, but they wanted to him to do a four-door. So his philosophy was, uh, well, I'm just going to do a four-door that doesn't fit people in the back. People can't quite fit. 
and the only people that can fit the back in the 95th percentile, you know, guys my size, 5'9", five, 5'10", five, that's about it. But the car is 403 horsepower. It's got a range, a battery life range that says it's 32, but uh, I've experienced uh, significantly more than that, upwards of 50. That's pretty good. Total between the electric and the gas motor is about a 300 mile range. 55 city, 54 highway. Car weighs about 5,300 pounds. It's a little fat. And it cost at the time in 2012 cost about $140,000. Now this car, this car only has about 15,000 miles on it. It was donated to the Murphy Museum. If you want to see the car up close, head up to the Murphy up in Oxnard. Uh, check it out. I'm sure David will let you, you know, check it out. I'm not sure if David will let you sit in it, but maybe. But it's quite a spectacular ride. It's pretty fast, pretty fast. But it's not as fast as what's coming. And soon, very shortly, what's coming is going to be extremely fast. Jeep, Cherokee, Trackhawk, Hellcat, fast. Did I mention 700 horsepower? That's that's pretty much it. And that, that is the car. I'm going to be taking the wheels and waves coming to you shortly. I really enjoy going to the car shows with all my good friends. Uh, you know, the guys that I actually went with and all you guys. We've been starting to do some Facebook lives and things like that. So on the fly, while we're at the shows, we're going to be able to do that. And we're going to do that with the up and coming wheels and waves. We got the General Lee, we got the Starsky and Hutch Torino, and we got all kinds of cool stuff coming. Thanks for watching, guys. If you missed the episode yesterday with Tony Dow, please check it out and be sure to subscribe. Every day and every way, my life just keeps getting better and better.